years ago if you wanted to go shopping you went downtown then along came the shopping malls and businesses moved out of the downtown districts for the most part people went shopping in the malls nowadays a lot of the shopping is done online and that has carried over into the travel industry and right now you see uh, you know hosting platforms like Airbnb or HomeAway, which are doing rentals, uh, short-term rentals throughout the Pocono region and throughout the state of Pennsylvania. Currently, there's room taxes and, and sales taxes that need to be collected on short-term short rentals. Uh, so what 1810 would do is just brings that up to speed, and it would, it would require that hosting platforms would turn that uh, list of the folks that are using their platform over to the local county treasurer's office and the Department of Revenue, enabling the local county treasurers to send a letter to those folks that are, that are leasing their home for these short-term leases or overnight stays to let them know that they are responsible uh, to submit that local tax to the county. And what's happening right now is a lot of times folks that are using these platforms are not aware of it, uh, that the host is not submitting the taxes. Airbnb and HomeAway, they are not paying taxes. They're saying that that's the responsibility of the folks that are, that are leasing these facilities. So we want to make sure that they know uh, there's already been cases where people had have had to pay thousands of dollars in back taxes because they weren't aware of it. So this would just allow for that communication so people know what their responsibilities are if they are going to use these short-term uh, rentals. It's not that we're trying to hinder their model or anything like that. It's just to make sure uh, that you know if we're going to shift away from a sales tax, from a property tax to a sales tax, or we're going to be relying on a sales tax, we need to make sure that it's an even playing field for everybody uh, that that's in the tourism uh, industry, uh, whether it be hotels, bed and breakfasts, or or the people that are just renting a room on Airbnb. And it's not just you know. Um, individuals right now that are renting. Uh, a lot of times these are large corporations or out-of-state corporations that are coming into communities and buying up uh, properties, converting these properties into into just uh, like an Airbnb style, just a room and a bathroom for overnight stays. And uh, so they are businesses. Um, we just make sure that they know that or the responsibility to remit that local tax.